Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer for Victolic Tools for Revit. Today I want to talk about a new tool in Victolic Tools for Revit called the Package Manager. Now a package can be considered a larger selection of material, larger than an assembly, but also with the ability to contain assemblies. So the whole idea is that we can play on the already familiar workflow of the assembly manager, but for larger selections. You can use these larger selections for uh, skids, for uh, modular design, or maybe system ISOs or fabrication maps. There's a bunch of opportunities here to really streamline some Revit tasks and save a whole lot of time. So like I said, the package manager is very similar to the assembly manager. It's going to be found in the Victolic dock, but it'll be the third tab over. So this is the assembly manager we're looking at here. I have six assemblies already designated. Over in the package manager, I have one package designated. And what I did is I created a package of this first area over here on the left. It has some structural steel. It has a couple assemblies, which are these pump drops. It has the pump, the pad, and the supports for it. So let's take a look at the final product and then we'll go back and we'll make a couple more. Over here is the sheet that was generated by the package manager, much like the way the assembly manager handles views and sheets and bills of material. And we'll get into the settings in just a second. But you can see that there's three views on here, an ortho view, an elevation top, and an elevation right, as well as a bill of material, a QR code very similar to our assembly manager's output but this is a larger selection and if we take a look at what's already in this skid you'll see that there's already two assemblies in there one of the ways that revit works that we have to deal with is that you can't create assemblies within assemblies so this is our answer to that to create a larger selection of components that can have assemblies in the selection so let's take a look at the settings Now this screen here should look familiar to anybody who's been using Victolic tools to do fabrication spooling. Package view settings is going to be just like assembly view settings. A couple minor changes, but the same idea. You tell it that I would like a 3D ortho, you give it a view template. There's some additional settings within here. Uh, you tell it which views you'd like to be placed on the sheet, QR code, static bill of material, default scale, and the sheet that you'd like to put it on. Uh, all of the features that were in the assembly manager for saving, recalling, and modifying templates are going to be here as well. So what we're really trying to do here is play on a familiar workflow. Well, that said, let's go in and make a couple more packages and then we'll detail them. I'm going to head into the spooling view. So you can see this is the selection we were just looking at. The thing that is assigned to a package is this side of it right here. So if I want to continue this work down for two more skids, what I can do is I'll align my view like that. I'll make a selection. Okay. Now the first way that you can create packages is you'll find it under here under the Create Assembly Tools. You'll see a button called Create Package. This will prompt me for a name. I'm going to call this one Skid 2 just to stay in line. I'll put it in the category of Skids and I'll click OK. So now Skid 2 has been created. Now to detail this, it'll use the settings we were just looking at. I'll click on skid 2 here, and I'll select my skid template at the bottom and click go. Now in real time here, it's generating the sheet that, this, that the views will be placed on. It's generating three different views, procuring the static bill of material, and generating a sheet for us to view the skid 2 package. Now within the 3D ortho, if you remember we had tagging turned on for assemblies, it's going to default to the assembly tag. For mechanical equipment, it'll default to this tag. All of these tags can be controlled here by whatever your settings are under custom tagging in the fourth group. So group number four is going to be used for packages. Group number one is used for assemblies. So I'm going to go back and designate a third skid and detail that as well. So to the spooling view, I'll highlight this stuff here, grab anything it may be missing. Create package, we'll call this one skid number three. And we'll detail this one as well. Now the second way the package manager can be used is based off the assemblies that are already in the assembly manager. So over here in the assembly manager, I have six assemblies, if you remember. I can check them all and go down to actions and click on create package. 
Okay, so this wouldn't be necessarily a skit. I would call this maybe a, a system. So maybe I'll call this one system one, or if you know the system abbreviation, maybe name it after that. Put it under the category of systems. These categories are completely customizable. You can just type in whatever you want here. And when I click OK, it created the package over here in the package manager. Now when I detail this one, it's going to look a little bit different just because it's a larger selection of material based on just the assemblies. Okay, so it's a larger bill of material. You can see that six assemblies have been identified in this particular package. But this particular method can be used to automate fabrication maps and save a whole lot of time. So let's take a look at the package manager interface. Like I said before, it's very similar to the assembly manager interface. Uh, you can use these checkboxes on the left hand side to control which ones you'd like to detail or which ones you'd like to locate and any available open view. Adding revisions to sheets is exactly the same. So you can select your revision here and click on add and you should see it appear in the revisions section of your sheet. Okay, new feature for the assembly manager and the package manager is that you can remove revisions from the sheet. So I'll select system one here, click the arrow next to add and click on remove revision. And it tells me that one's been removed and this gets cleared out. Another feature within the package manager is that you can show all of the sheets in your project. So if you said show project sheets, this can be a way for you to manage every single sheet that is in your project, if you needed to add revisions to them, or if you needed to just view them, everything down to just the welcome screen is listed in here. And that can really come in handy. So that's the package manager, another member of the Victolic doc that you can work with in real time with your model. It's a management tool for larger selections of material that can contain assemblies. And it's an automation tool to generate sheets and views based off these selections. Thanks so much for watching.